Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great today. Today we're going to be playing around with some Unity stamp stamps. Um, I showed you this before. I don't know if I'll show you this every time we get ready to craft with it. Probably will, just so you'll know. This is the May Kit. Um, it's called Open Sky Deep Ocean. And what I had told you before is that we would do something like um, 10 cards, one kit. I don't think we'll be able to do that in one video. So what I want to do is make the same card multiple times in the video. So we'll make one card two, three, four times in a video. Probably not more than three times because I've tried this and it's not working out for me yet. Um, but I'll, I'm going to try to upload a Unity Stamp video either every Tuesday or every Thursday. Because I have some other things coming up in july for monday wednesday and friday i have a few things like some hard dates that i don't want to fool around with and i'm super excited about this so let's go ahead and get started all right so i have cut some um white cardstock down to uh what is it four and a quarter by five and a half so that is the typical a2 size paper i am aware of that but what we're going to do today is we're going to make some panels real quick panels um so what I had originally intended to do was try and make cards, but because Brandy's brain doesn't function like it should be functioning, I did not I did not cut the paper at appropriate sizes originally. So I figured that we could do like a cute panel card and not get too upset with myself about that. Now the only thing is because I want to try and put the paper off a little bit. It is going to be somewhat difficult, well, not really too difficult, as you can tell right here. Um, these Unity stamp stamps are super thick, and even though I have it on the appropriate size for my platform, because the rubber is so thick and good quality, it's a little bit too much for the platform to handle. I'm going to go ahead and stamp these out, and then we'll get back together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to color up a few of these. I think we're going to color maybe two of these together. I stepped out four, and as you can see, um, even with me trying to do them all the same, I still <laughs> did not. So I realized on, this was the first one I believe I stamped out, and I usually get a good impression the first time, and then the second time I'm like, ah. I get sloppy with the inking of the thing. And of course I have ink on my fingertips. So we're going to work on that in a few minutes. But this one is a double print as you can see. And it's okay. I like it. No big deal. And then this is the last one because I just said, huh, let's go ahead and see how it's going to look. So we're going to put these to the side and then we're going to work on this one. All right. So I pulled out my colors and I've tried this project before just so you are know. And I like the way this came out. It's just I didn't like the way the edge came out and then I tried it again and I really love the effect now that I'm looking at it so this is not a bad one but I didn't like the video that I had made so we're going to go with this one and we're going to like it and we're going to post it because I need to stop getting in my head so much so using the background I am going to um, just color this up really quickly and usually when I color and chat it takes forever so um you guys will just see, i'm just going to show you what i'm going to do I'm going to um and now i'll pause the camera if you want to see uh me do the unity stamp company videos from start to finish meaning start the whole entire thing and finish it it'll probably be about depending on the intricacy of the project It'll probably be about a 20 minute video, whereas I'm going to try to make this one a 10 minute video. Um, if you could just leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if you want to see a longer video or a short one. Like all you got to do is say, you know, like start to finish or not. Okay, so I'm going to color that in. And then what I did on the other cards, and I think I'm going to hold true to this, is I'm, I've traced these out. I've traced these out in different in a different color. And then what I've done is the opposite of that color. So this is going to be purple or mauve. Um, 
I'm going to color this flower this color and the other color that I have which is orange which I thought would be two pretty decent colors to go kind of contrast but not too bad of against each other I'm going to be careful not to make a brown color but I think if I'm not mistaken red and green kind of make like a brownish color so I don't think I have to worry about that with this but if it doesn't come out correctly then you know I'll just start over no big deal <laughs> so I'm trying to I'm thinking about the panel what I want to do with the panel and I'm thinking that we may be able to just make a larger card. I really need to get, I need to print out the card sizes like A2, A6, A7, I guess. Is it A7? Is it A7? I don't even know. So this is how it's going to look. And then I'm just going to come in with this orange and color it in. And then once I'm finished all the way, I'll come back. Um, Just so you all know, I did color this one up and we are finished with that one. But since I said we're going to do three, even though the I stamped them out kind of wrong, I'm still going to do three. Um, I just show, I'm choosing to use my little Spectrum Noir markers because I just want to see how it will look. And of course, you need to do a swatch whenever you are doing markers because I pulled out this yellow. I think it was this yellow Satsuma. And it's orange, which is no big deal, no problem. I'm not upset about that anyway. Just because it looks like it's going to be green, like this forest green. I'm thinking since it's forest green... And it is, when I think of the forest, I think of dark and light. This color may be a little bit on the dark side, which is fine, I guess. Um, see, it's really dark. And that's dark too, so I guess it's not a big deal. But we're going to move on to another, a, a little bit of a lighter shade of green. I guess if you know your colors, which I'm not very familiar with, all the colors in the... Um, the rainbow besides the the primary ones that we learned you know roy g biv it may not work out for me too well so let's see yeah i like this color a lot better i like uh the lighter greens for for stem so that is what we're going to go with i am not going to uh record this i just want you all to know that i did you i am going to do three of something even if it's not uh exactly the exact same i am going to do three things with that mindset that i want everything to be uniformed and the exact same thing i want to make the same card three times and i have already failed at that so we're just going to go with it though um and then i'm going to color this one up it's already coloring up really quickly and i color the other one and then i'll be back Another alteration that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to uh, line the mark, line the flowers, and then color only because I think these are supposed to supposed to blend, and I am not good at blending, so I don't want to attempt to do that. So what I'm doing is just outlining them, and then I'm going to go back in and color them up versus line and then coming with another color. Because I think I would have a hard time trying to match those colors up anyway. Okay, this is my last time. So I was going to... I'm using um, this any seed, I guess, to color this one. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to try meadow. Because it looks kind of yellow, right? It's green. Green, 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 green. Let's see. <laughs> it's super green. So I have to keep that in mind. Uh, I think I may have to do a swatch after all. I didn't want to. I just want to kind of be surprised. But I would be so upset if I had colored everything was green. Mm -mm -mm. It's green on the box. So I guess I can't complain. If I looked at my box, I would be okay. So I probably should have went with daffodil. But we're going with any seed anyway. All right, so all colored, all three colored up. And what I think I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to salvage that whole three card idea. And I'm going to cut these down. I'm going to take some yellow paper, I believe. Uh, maybe a different color. Maybe yellow isn't my thing for this. So maybe we will uh, go with 
a green how about a green let's try green because why not let's see how that's going to look i think they look cute what y'all think let me know in the comment section what you think um i'm over my 10 minutes because i kept coming back and chit chatting with you all so i'm going to cut these down i think i'm going to round some corners i don't know and i'll be right back okay so we're going to go over 10 minutes unfortunately um but i think we'll be okay so i'm going to i've already cut these down and i want to say that I've noticed that all the paper that I get from the big box companies is slightly off and it's not me. At first I was worried about my cutting skills and yes, I probably don't measure the paper all the way sometime, but overall I think the, um, I guess because they're trying to mass produce, maybe the cutter is off like half an inch on some of them, which is okay, I guess, um, in some instances. In some instances, it's just way, way off. Um, so just keep that in mind like I cut these all down and I'll tell you why because this paper I got even though it's from Walmart it is a Georgia Pacific I cut them all down you know half and half right they all cut just about perfect these other papers not so much so just keep that in mind don't get upset if your paper's not coming out right so we're only going to put one together on camera and then i put the other ones together off camera so i cut these down to be appropriate sizes so they're all different and that's because i stamped them differently but i wanted the green to show through and then i went with the old paper and i distress stained it some so that would be cute and on the inside it's just going to be blank so we'll put that one to the side i really like this purple I'm not sure what color marker it was that I was using in the um, Spectrum Noir palette, but I love that purple, so I'm definitely going to have to try that out again. No, I'm not falling out of love with yellow, in love with purple, because my colors are still blue, green, and gray, just in case you were wondering. Um, I'm going to use this little tape runner, because why not? Oh, it ran out. Great. Okay, so we are finished with the cards. I'm going to glue these down once the camera in, once I finish. But this is how it's going to look. It's going to be blank in the inside, as usual. Um, I like to leave the cards blank so people can write what they want to it. They have a sentiment that they feel it would be perfect before it goes in here. But I love how it came out. I love the colors. I love everything about it. I didn't distress on the inside. I only did the edges. Um... Because sometimes I can get crazy with distressing and it can go way, way the wrong way. So that is how they're going to look. And again, I didn't have a lot of room or wiggle room. So um, I need to make sure I tape it and put it down perfectly. And this one right here. Um, on the next episode of this little stamp set, not this one, but the whole kit, we will try. I'm going to get more and more elaborate, I guess you could say um as time goes by um but you know i like simple fun cards and i think that when i do a lot of coloring or whatever that is the the complexity of the the project more so than anything just the coloring and, and coordinating but i love this part i love how all of them came out even the one i did with the color pencils um i love it i have no problem with any of this and i would gladly uh show it and share it and say look at what i did so until next time thank you for watching